Wait, are you serious? Oh my god. Hi. I wanna rip this off. I wanna rip it. I'm gonna rip it. Mm. No, no, I paid too much money for it. I'm not ripping it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> How are you guys doing this gorgeous day? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely amazing. We are into 2020. We're coming in strong. We're coming in hot. We're coming in a sock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Never. Never. Anyways, guys, today's video, I am so excited, also slightly terrified for today's video because I thought it'd be kind of fun going into the new year, you know, time, new year, old makeup. Why don't we do a full face using all makeup that I have that's actually expired? Definitely expired. It's not even actually, like, definitely expired. Yeah. She's expired the house down. Oh, I thought it'd be really funny just to kind of do this and see what my face would react. I'm actually gonna wear the makeup for the day and see what happens and then I'm gonna do a check-in tonight after I take it off and then I'm gonna do a check-in tomorrow morning to see if I have any new breakouts. And if I do, I'm gonna go someone. But I'm really, really interested to see like, you know, obviously we don't use expired makeup or we shouldn't use expired makeup, but how bad can it really be? I obviously do not recommend doing this at home at all. I'm not advocating for using expired makeup at all. I just have so much makeup in my repertoire. A lot of it is expired because I haven't cleaned it out in a while. I'm getting a new assistant, which I'm so fucking excited about. I have not had an assistant in about three months, so I've needed a little bit of help, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I just thought it would be kind of fun. I'm gonna be obviously tossing these products in the near future because they're all expired, because a lot of times I just take a product, it's expired, ah, it is what it is, and I'll use it anyway. So some of these products you're gonna recognize like, oh my God, this is old school, like the So Hollywood highlighter. This is old as fuck, it's stunning, but it has a 12 month open jar. This is definitely older than a year, so. We're just gonna try out all these things that are definitely, definitely, definitely expired. Sick! It's sick! Oh! It's sick! As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please go and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Mandy Amyway, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. But yeah, let's go and get started on today's full face using expired makeup. What's gonna happen? I'm scared. I'm petrified, actually. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time to go hunting. Oh my god. We're gonna have to use one of these foundations. Oh my god. I'm gonna break out, aren't I? Also, I need major help with these drawers. I don't wanna talk about it. Like, I literally don't wanna talk about it. But what primer should we use? This is old right here. It's been used, it's been abused. It's definitely over the open jar limit. What does it say? Six months? Oh honey, this is probably two years old. Oh my god, you can see it curdling. <gasps> you can see the curdle. This gloss I just found. <sighs> Look what I just found. The modern renaissance pot from like years ago. <gasps> we have to use her. What is that on the top? What is that discoloration? I don't understand. Oh god. What is that? So let's go and start off. Let's like, obviously we're gonna primer the whole Full fantasy. This is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer, the Hangover RX. This is like the first one they ever sent me, so that's why it has, it's like so low. It must be at least two years old, and it's a six month open jar. I'm scared. Ew! <laughs> I just shot! Oh my god, oh my god. There's literally like literal yellow gunk coming out of it. This is what came out of it. This is what came out of it. Shot out. Shot up like a rocket. Ew, is that fat? That has to go. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. Do we use that? So it smells really good. Actually, you know what? It smells good, but it smells stale. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm 28 years old and I'm using expired makeup. What the fuck is up? After smelling that primer, it's like BO that's like not that bad, but you're like, oh my God, it smells like kind of hot, but like kind of nasty at the same time. It's like that. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the La Mer Soft Liquid Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Natural. This one, I am so petrified of because it literally has this like separation going on, but it's almost like green looking. You know what I mean? It just looks so nasty. I don't even wanna look at it to be quite honest. I just need to shake it and hopefully and wish for the best. This is definitely like over two years old for me, for sure. So it's like one of my first La Mer packages I've ever gotten from them. And, oh my god, Chunk City. It's literally the most gorgeous foundation. Like, I love this foundation so much. It's gorgeous. Where the fuck is my, oh, I'm missing my foundation brush, whatever, I'll have to use this one. Okay, so we're gonna go in and we're just gonna tap this in. It smells so strong. Oh my god, it smells like almost fermented. It smells like 
Oh my God, it smells like alcohol, kinda. But like literally, so, oh! It's still stunning even through all that. Also, why is it like literally my perfect color? Like literally my perfect color. What the hell? Dude, this is like really old though. This is like years old. And it has a six month expiration open jar. Six months. Oh my God, but you all cannot tell me I don't look flawless in this, what the fuck? Oh, this foundation is so beautiful. Why, like, like I forgot that it's so stunning. I'm gonna have to buy a new one because it's like actually, you know, my shade and not expired. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have to buy a non-expired. So this is what the foundation looks like. It honestly, gave, it's still the same effect as it was when I used it back in the day. It still looks absolutely stunning. It's more so like the ingredients on the inside, like is it going to break me out or is it like harboring bacteria? That's the real tea. I'm sure it is. Oh my God. But it's gorgeous. You cannot tell me that's not sickening. Ooh! Mm, a glowy goddess. I just didn't feel like nothing. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go in with this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is one of like the first concealers I ever but, and you can see at the bottom of it, it's like kind of separating, curdling right there. And this is probably like three years old, probably. I can pump. I'm getting chills. Like this video is gonna give me chills. I'm gonna, it's gonna scar me. It bubbled. Ew, okay. And I'm just gonna take that Pro Longwear and that's gonna go on my uh, under eye. Uh-huh. Please don't give me Milia or any kind of other breakout, please. I love. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers probably of all time. It's such an iconic, classic concealer. Have you guys ever used it? I used to use it as my eye primer all the time. Still do sometimes. Okay guys, so luckily, even though the makeup is definitely expired, it's still giving me the same effects that it would without an expiration. It's just more so like my nerves are shot. Why does my skin look so literally gorgeous with this expired ass makeup? Hmm? We're gonna take our Laura Mercier powder. You guys, okay, so when it comes to powders, but for some reason, this is just my personal opinion, I really don't feel like the powders change very much. Like if you like use an eyeshadow palette from like years and years ago, it's still gonna be the same, you know what I mean? Not that I don't believe it, of course I do, but you know, I don't really mind as much using powders. Also like with powder, like you know, when I worked in makeup counters and I worked in like the makeup world, you could just wipe off the first layer of a powder and like that would knock off the like bacteria that was getting like on the surface surface of it because powders don't like retain that kind of like liquid cream consistency so it doesn't like like any kind of bacteria or pathogen carcinogen pathogen whatever doesn't seep low because it doesn't like have anywhere to go because like, the powder is more of a solid so usually with powders they just don't retain as much bacteria or any kind of thing like liquids or creams would the Laura Mercier powder looks stunning just a light dusting Looks the same, smells the same. This is probably like two years old with a, how much the open jar? And, the, and that's what you'll notice too with powders. It'll say like 12 month open jar because it just lasts longer because it's not a cream or liquid. The concealer was like six months, 12 months. That's why, because bacteria don't survive in powders as easily as they do as a cream or a liquid. So this is my face so far. I think it looks really pretty actually, I'm not gonna lie. The Le Mer foundation, oh, I need a new one. But also it's expensive as fuck. Next, let's go in, bronze up, do all that shit. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our, <laughs> you guys, this is the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is the first Physicians Formula product I ever bought. This is probably three years old. A butter bronzer, you can, I mean, it looks haggard. Still smells stunning. Oh my God, it smells amazing. We're gonna put this bronzer all over the skin and we're gonna see how it's looking. I love the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. <gasps> Ooh, I'm not blending correctly, am I? Mm -mm. Come on, be smart. Taking that a little too low, ma'am. You guys, do you know what I'm so excited about? I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually did Reality House season two. So Kian and JC are YouTubers, right? And they came out with this show called Reality House and they did one season of it last year and it was super fun. And it was fun to watch and I was like living the full fantasy, but they asked me to be part of season two and it just aired this weekend on Friday. Hey guys, I'm Manny MUA and I'm the designated pretty one. And it's free, like it's like on their channel, Kian and JC's channel, and I'm a reality house contestant. It's like, think of Big Brother. We're all living in one house. We have challenges, we have competitions. We have like the full fantasy is going on. Like there's drama, there's throwing up on my part, there's tears. It's like literally insane. It's like with other YouTubers as well. So it's really, really fun. Like, and I'm really, I'm just happy that I was part of it. Like it was just like such a fun, weird, crazy experience. And I would love for you guys to check it out. It's just fun because it's like me in a different setting. I get to kind of like play up this like reality character. You know what I mean? It's just so much 
fun. I loved it. The most gayest run possible. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, now we're going with some blush. We're going to go in with this Ofra Bellini brush. It's probably two years old. This is before they even like rebranded. So that's when you know it's old as fuck. It's like this is their, their old packaging. Like, girl. Bellini. I love this color blush, by the way. It's just such a pretty, like, nice natural blush color. So pretty. And also, you guys, again, like I was saying, the powders are working so good. Like, they're not doing shit, like, to be quite honest. And the, I mean, the liquids were fine too, but the powders are just working so well. Like, just like how they would when I first got them. Like, I'm not experiencing anything weird at all. No separation, obviously. No patchiness. No nothing. Like, the powders are retaining their gorgeousness, if you will. And I'm really impressed. Let's go in with the highlighter. This is the Anastasia So Hollywood highlighter. This is a classic. This is like when they first did like Italian baked highlighters, I think. And bitch, they slayed me. So Hollywood specifically was like that bitch. And I was obsessed with her. I would wear So Hollywood all the time. It gave me such like Mac Whisper of Guilt vibes. You know, back in the day, like those like, bitch. This is like Anastasia Amrezi, like highlighter vibes. Like, you know, where it's like that baked, gorgeous, Golden consistency, it's like that. And they're working so good still, bitch. The fuck? Like, these are so fucking beautiful. It gives you a glassy consistency, but it's gold, so it like, actually looks really pretty. But it's not a harsh gold. It's a very light, pale gold. Mm! Still stunning. I can't wait for me to finish this makeup, wear it for the day, wake up tomorrow and have seven new pimples. That's gonna be really fun for me. Let's do a brow, shall we? So for a brow, you guys, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Pomade in Soft Brown, and this is <laughs> from when I first got it in PR years ago. So obviously, she's cracked the house down. And I rarely use soft brown. I use more of dark brown, but I figured it would be kind of fun to show what this one would look like because it is, of course, expired. So it's really cracked and very, like, old. I don't even know if we're gonna get any on. Oh, we do. We do get some on the brush still, which is really nice. I'm obsessed with the brow pomade. Obviously, I love it. This Morphe brush is so good for doing brow pomades. If you guys like that, I don't know if you guys are into brow pomades and stuff like that. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're great. But this is in my little Morphe brush kit, my brush favorites kit that I have with Morphe. I love this brush. So just wanted to show you guys that as well. That there's an option in there for my brow bitches that like to do a brow pomade. We're gonna use this. I kind of just like this color because it kind of gives me a like natural fullness, if that makes sense. It's not super dark. By the way, the product is going on super well, super nicely, super creamy. Yes, it's obviously cracked in the jar, but I would say it's slightly harder to use in the way of like, it's a little bit less like movable on here, but it's still very, very good. Like for as long as I've had it, bitch, please. It also is gonna depend per person. Like this guy has been in my drawer in the dark, completely sealed, closed off for a long, long time. So that's probably why it still has like some juice to it, I would say. If you like left it cracked or caked or left open in some way, it's not gonna be as movable as this is. But mine are kept in like drawers that are not like hot or anything in my beauty room. So that's probably why it depends on obviously the temperature that you're keeping your shit at, you know? But that looks pretty good. I'm really impressed. I'm shocked, actually. Nice! I'm gonna go do the other brow off camera. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the eyes. And then we want to the lip, which I'm scared of, for sure. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm back and the brows are filled. 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 Okay, guys, so now we're gonna go in with an eyeshadow palette that is very old and dear and near to my heart. This is the Anastasia modern renaissance she has gotten some use she is a queen look at her this is definitely expired like for sure or like expired when it comes to the open jar six months you're kidding well i've had this for years so it's past expired it's haunting it's haunting actually let's just go in we're just doing a cute basic ass little eye this is a basic ass eye kind of palette which is why I loved it so much. Like modern renaissance will always just hold a special place in my heart, you know? You'll be in my heart. <gasps> oh my God, I love Tarzan. What's your favorite Disney movie? Just in general, favorite Disney movie? What's your favorite one? Mine personally would be The Little Mermaid because I always felt like I was Ariel. It is my actual favorite. And then I would say after that would probably be like Hercules. I loved cartoon Hercules and of course like Incredibles. I have a lot. Okay, I have a lot, but number one would be The Little Mermaid. She's my ultimate, I love her so fucking much. <laughs> okay guys, by the way, the shadows are working gorgeously. Like I'm not having any problems with these shadows whatsoever, even though yes, they are expired. By the way, that's going on a Morphe M533. Just classic blending brush that I use all the time. 
stunning. Uh, let's go in with the shade Red Ochre. Just to warm her up, just tap her in. Ooh, Miss Red Ochre is still stunning. Do you guys, you have palettes that are old, but you still love it and still use it all the time, and it still works fantastically? Because, <laughs> I know I do, bitch. Fuck. And if you guys do, what is yours? For example, I still have like my Makeup Geek collaboration. It's actually really cute. I have a collab wall where of all like the accomplishments and collabs I've ever done like in my office space of upstairs that I've done in the past and I feel like I want to show you guys that. That'd be really cute. Every single time I've done a collaboration, it was special and it meant so much to me. So I have a little collab wall. It's cute. But yeah, all that makeup up there is probably real old. It's probably real fucking old in my little collab wall. Okay, let's go in with the shade Primavera on the lid. It's like this really pretty golden champagne color just to give us a little bit of a sheen. I always wish that these um, shimmers were more intense and more impactful and much more bright, but you know, it's cute. It's like a cute little sheen, if you will. It's a cute sheen. I just wish they were a little bit more. Bam. I mean, once you pack it on, it obviously gets to a better spot, but I wanted a reflection. Okay, let's go in with some eyeliner. And guys, the eyeliner I chose, I chose this Bobbi Brown Black Ink Eyeliner. I have had this for a very, very, very long time. Years, again, years. Let's take this little brush. <laughs> oh, I haven't done a, oh, it's still pretty creamy. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh, but it's still, I mean, it's hard. It's like almost like Play-Doh. I have not done gel liner in so long. Don't fucking judge me. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. This is dry as fuck. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna fuck myself. This is dry as fuck. Woo! This is, you guys, the brush I'm using is a Morphe 2501M. Starting with an M, but that's what I'm using. That's my brush. It is dry as the Sahara. Obviously, it's so old. Oh my god. Please work with me. It's okay. It's not bad. For not using gel in like a long time, it's really not that bad. I'm gonna go finish the other half camera, dry as fuck. You know what, actually before I do that, let's go and use another product real quick. Let's go in with some expired mascara. This is one of the most scared of you guys is a mascara, bitch. I don't want no pink eye, the fuck? I'm gonna go in with Roller Lash from Benefit. This obviously, as you can see, has gotten some major love. This is probably like a year old, maybe a year and a half, I would say. And it's not done yet. And this has a six month open jar. Fuck. Okay. I mean, obviously it's a little bit more clumpy and like thick than before and it's not as liquidy, it's like more dry, but it's still giving it to me. Miss Roller Lash is still giving me the fantasy. It's just a little bit drier. It's like probably going with more coats with this since there's not as much product on the brush. It's still cute though. Mm. <laughs> okay, I don't hate it. I don't hate it even though yes, it's expired and I probably might get pink eye like it's not bad Cute cute cute. Okay, I'm gonna go do <laughs> The rest of my eyes and I'll be back to do the lips on camera for you guys to scream with me and uh, Yeah, I'll be back soon <laughs> We are back the eyes are fully done just something cute quick little lash on with the mascara and now we're going with the Lip you guys the lip is what I was so scared of <laughs> so for other products you guys we have the urban decay Naked lip liner. This is one of my favorite lip liners of all time. This is probably two years old as you can see It's gotten some good use out of it. It's like dry as fuck looking a little bit messy lipstick wise This is probably one of the oldest if not the oldest lipstick I own it is from Mac I literally have it from when I worked as a freelancer at Mac about five six years ago So we're gonna be using Miss enchanted one as you can see She's been used, but for some reason there's like this weird top gray layer on it, which is literally terrifying me. Fuck. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with this gloss from Marc Jacobs, one of my favorite of all time, French Tickler. I don't know if you guys remember that from back in the day. French Tickler was one of my favorite glosses of all time. It's like this gorgeous peach color. It's uh, stunning. And this guy is definitely inspired. Ooh. <laughs> it just got chills. Okay, let's go and do some lip liner. She's still kicking, she's still creamy. Urban Decay, y'all slay. I rhymed. This lipstick's five years old. Can I wipe it off like the first layer first? I feel sick. 
I can't put that brown on my lip. Like I can't. I will do so much for a video, but I will not put some weird film on my mouth. Like I will not do it. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, it's a little old smelling, but it still has that same classic Mac vanilla E scent. It's going on pretty nice, guys, by the way. I used to wear this lipstick literally like every single day I <laughs> worked at Mac. Gorgeous, still stunning, feels really nice too. Going on is really creamy. How does it last that long? It's five years old, maybe six. And then we're going with Miss French Tickler from Marc Jacobs. It's minty. I went through almost all of this. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I love this gloss. And that is that on period. Okay guys, so the face is officially done. This is what it looks like so far. As we can see, I don't really have any breakouts. I don't have anything going on, really anything bad. I'm going to be wearing this all day and then I'm gonna do a check-in. We're gonna do what it looks like after the day's been like gone through and obviously it's gonna look a little bit more oily. Like I didn't do a lot of like prep for this skin wise. We'll do that then I'll do it. I'll take off all my makeup so we can see what it looks like if I got any breakouts or any bumps or anything like that. And then I'll do a check in tomorrow morning to see if I broke it out like overnight. Like for it to like fester and boil in my skin bubble bubble. You know what I mean? So far the face looks fine. Like everything worked pretty okay. So I'll be checking back in with you guys very, very soon. Stay tuned. <sighs> What is up you guys? So it's been about seven hours now. The sun's going down and <laughs> this is the face so far. I still think it looks really, really pretty. Um, I am oily as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like it like lasted on me like a lot, but it's still definitely there. You know, she's still there. It's oily, but like it's not off my face like I thought it was going to be, which I'm really, really, really shocked about, which is great. Also, I'm not seeing any kind of like pimples forming, nothing crazy, nothing ham happening so far, which is gorgeous. I'm gonna take off my makeup now and I'll check back in with you guys in the morning to see if I have any breakouts. That's the real test. I've worn this for seven hours. We're letting it really cook into the skin and now we're gonna see. Oh, fuck, feels so good. Now we're gonna see, is my skin gonna go through the gigs or not? Wait, are you serious? Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, you guys. What is up? So it is the next morning. We are done. We are the next morning. What? I just woke up. So literally, like, ignore me. So this is the face, you guys. This is the face. I actually didn't get any new breakouts. I'm pretty shocked. I have this little guy right here, but I popped that last night. That's because I had I was plucking my brow hairs. And usually when I pluck them, I'll get like a little bit of a like a little bit of a break. See how these like are like broken out over here? It's because like I plucked a brow hair. My skin got irritated there and boom. But um I'm pretty impressed at the fact that I don't really have any new bumps new breakouts, new anything actually. Even though I wore the makeup, the expired makeup for like seven hours, which is pretty shocking to me. Again, I do not recommend doing this, especially if you have sensitive skin. I feel like you will absolutely break out if you have sensitive skin. My skin's not super sensitive. It just depends on like an ingredient or something like that. It really just depends for me. I'm kind of shocked and in awe at the fact that my skin is not broken out right now. Will I ever do this again? Not on purpose. <laughs> Again, like I said, don't try this at home. I literally just wanted to experiment for the video to see if anything would happen to my skin. Nothing did, which is really, really cool, but I'm not. that's not saying that something would not happen to yours either, you know? So just want to be responsible for, with your guys' skin. I'm doing it at home, I'm a professional. But yeah, hope you guys had fun watching this video and seeing the experiment. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or do wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. It's expensive as fuck, man. That shit real. That shit real full. I love the butter bronzer from, from position. I can't say that word. What the fuck? It's gonna be really fucking fun for me. What do you think of the skin though? It's like natural. No. Is it? Maybe. It's kinda. Okay, I'm gay. Well, obviously. Do this if you're a professional. <laughs> I'm not really a professional. Nothing happened. Maybe I should do it like one where I do it for a week straight. No, oh my god, am I fucking crazy? Thank <laughs> you.